All right, everybody. I think we made all the problem. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello, everybody. Okay. Okay. So this. Okay. So that this could be the problem. Um, with if the sound is wonky, we need to figure out a better way to do that. That's okay. We'll do it. Do that later. Hey, everybody. Manamana. Dee, 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 dee. Manamana. Okay. Sorry about that. We're, we're having some sound issues. Oh, I got a lot of sound on my phone though. Let me turn that down a little bit. Um, so we don't hear quite so much of it. Whoop, whoop. All right, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday Live. Okay, big announcement. Now, you know, I do not want you to pop off of Tuesday Live. I want you to stick around and hear all the questions that we have today and get all the scoop on different things. But today's 48 hour special is paper handlers, buy one, get one half off. That is supposed to be the special. But when I went on the website to check just before we came on today, it wasn't buy one, get one half off. It was buy one, get one free. So literally, instead of saving 25%, you're saving 50%. Buy one, get one free. So if you need paper handlers, six by six, eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12 and the pockets. Now the 12 by 12 pocket, <coughs> excuse me, they have been out of stock for a while. So if you've been waiting for those, I would strongly encourage you to stock up today, right? Buy one, get one free until somebody that's in charge of the website notices that they set up the wrong special. So you are getting a better deal. It's supposed to be buy one, get one half off. Instead, it's buy one, get one free. Stock up right now on your pockets. Now there's a few of you who posted up recently on the Get Organized Challenge page um, that you're completely redoing your room. I will tell you, that you are going to use these constantly um, for all different things. I mean, obviously, papers, magazines, scraps, all that stuff, but they work great for other things like project organization. So now is a great time to stock up on those because they come flat, so you can store them easily till you're ready to use them. And buy one, get one free is a small deal, uh, and I, it's not that's not what it's supposed to be. So they could change it at any time. So open a second browser while you're listening. Pop on over to the website. Now, it's only available on the Totally Tiffany US website. I'm sorry to say, I uh, talked with Crafters Companion and said, can't you at least get these deals for the UK people on the Crafters Companion site? They're not set up that way. So I apologize because it is only for Totally Tiffany, you know, the Totally Tiffany US website. I know that's a pain. I, I, I'm sorry that that's the case. Okay, it's also a $10 Tuesday. So double bonus, right? You're gonna get the great deal on these, get a great deal on some uh, $10 items. The Lisa Buddy Bag, which is the one inch deep 12 by 12 paper buddy bag. That is on special today for $10. The paper storage, paper junkie, straight up storage boxes are on sale for $10. The six by six paper taker, which is the one that holds Obviously, six by six paper, um, but also holds tri blend markers. So, if you are looking for a small case to carry your tri blends or your aquas, which is what is in here, the six by six paper taker, which of course fits six by six paper, and the six by six pockets that are on sale today um, are ten dollars as well. And then the store and clip pods, the big pod, which is the 12 by 12 pod is also on $10 Tuesday today. So a great day to stock up on paper handlers, buy one, get one free for a limited time until someone fixes the website. And then, um, and then of course, $10 Tuesday. So a smoking deal, a smoking day for deals. Now the $10 Tuesday deals, those are available in the UK on the crafters companion website on the homepage. It has a little banner, $10 Tuesday. Click on that and you'll see all the Totally Tiffany stuff mixed in with the Crafter's Companion $10 Tuesday stuff as well. Okay, uh, let's see what's popping up over here. Okay, we're ready to go. So first thing, I noticed from last week that something that I didn't get to answer, I didn't see, Cynthia DeLay suggested for the photo storage boxes from Michaels. And the answer is we have not. But I think that I wonder 
I used to have one of those somewhere. I wonder if our five by seven pockets would fit in that box. Um, but I think it's a great idea. So I made a note of it um, on today's notes. And I'm going to follow up with that and put that into the idea bin for products to develop. I think it's a great idea. Those boxes are super popular. We can make them a little bit more functional with an easy to add insert. Jane Weekly asks, I have just started. Oh, this is a question from YouTube that Leanne brought to my attention. So a few days ago, Jane Weekly said, I have just started my catalog. When you have a die set that includes various dies that belong to multiple themes, do you include a representation of the entire set in each theme or representations of just the dies that belong with that theme? And I would say <coughs> it depends how you are doing your catalog. If you're cutting the entire set of dies um, to put into the catalog, or if you're doing photocopies, photocopies are really easy, and then it's easy to put the whole set into every category, even though it might not fit. If you're cutting the dies, then you might as well put them in the categories where they fit the representations. They're all going to go back to the same number anyway. So if die number one, two, three, has a Valentine heart and a Santa Claus and an Easter bunny. Then you can put the Valentine heart in Valentine's days and Santa and Christmas. But they're all going to say one, two, three, and it's going to drive you back there to that. So if you're cutting them, make it, make it as easy on yourself as you can while you're still getting the benefit of the catalog. So I hope that helps. The easier it is, the more, the better, the better, higher the chance you'll do it. So make it as easy as you can with, and make sure you're still getting that benefit. Uh, Tammy Vincent says, are there pockets or tabbed pockets that fit in the Denise buddy bag? Yes. The medium, and I sent Leanne a list of, she probably doesn't know this yet. Maybe she does. She's checked her email. I think she starts right at nine o'clock when we do. Um, but I did send Leanne a list of links and one of them was this link. So this is the medium pocket. Uh, and so dies and stamps, you can put your die. I'm trying to find a set. These are mostly all stamps. I think you can put your dies in even red rubber stamps, right? The, so this is the medium dice, die and stamp pocket. Oh, here's one. So this one, I just cut a uh, five by seven magnet in half. I've got the dies in there and the stamps that coordinate with those dies. So depending on what you want to do or um, I'm trying to see if there's any more dies, but it's the medium die and stamp pocket. And you can probably get one, two, they come in a pack of 25, I think three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You can probably get, depending on how thick they are, at least 36 pockets, but maybe as many as 50 if you're just using it for dies or if you're using dot dies and stamps are really thick red rubber stamps in there. So Denise, that makes a nice little filing system um, in the Denise buddy bag. Shirley Baxter Mock. Oh, this is just a nice thing. Amazing customer service. I contacted them about a damaged order and they credited my account. Can't wait to shop again with Crafters Companion. So um, thanks Shirley for putting that post up. It's always nice to hear when things are going really well. And then um, also Linda Nipple says, just wanted to say thank you to Leanne who works behind the scenes and does such a great job. So thank you, Leanne. We all appreciate all the work that you do. I'm going to mark these off as I go. Um, Paper Cuts by Marshall says, I was wondering if the die file is being discontinued. Uh, there hasn't been an official word on it yet, but um, it is not in the pro in the plan for the next 12 months. That's, I can't say it's definitely discontinued, but as of right now, we won't have them in stock for at least 12 months. They're not in the plan. Uh, also, for the We Are Memory Keep Memories Alphabet die set you bought on July on the July Craft Day, how tall are the letters? Thanks, Tiffany, for all the things you do and all your wonderful products. Okay. I have, I pulled those out. Oh, so this is the die set that she was talking about. And I think they're two inches, but I will measure and make sure that that is what they are, in fact are. Um, yes, they are two inches. So I have them all in here. And then of course, this is just the packaging off the packaging, but 
they're so fun to work with, right? They're, I mean, they're just a great size. I love them. I've used them three or four times since I bought them. And you know, that is rare unless you're doing something like making a card over and over again or whatever, um, to have a die that's just super handy outside of like a cutting, like you're cutting your flip cards or whatever. But, um, I love them. I love the size of them. They're easy to work with. They go on banners, they go on cards, all those things, but they're two inches. All right. What's popping up over here? Lisa Walgas says the six by six paper handler holds the Copic refills. So this is the six by six paper handler. And Lisa is sharing with us that it fits the Copic refills. That is a great piece of information. And I would love to have a picture of that. I don't use Copics. I have some, but I don't have the refills. So it'd be fun to have that picture and share it. If you don't mind taking a picture and sending it in. Deborah Sipley says, what bag is good for ink refills, which is probably why Lisa is saying the six by six paper handler. And if the six by six paper handler fits your ink refills, the six by six um, paper taker might also fit them. And it, they might also fit in the five by seven paper taker. So I don't know how big they are, but these are like the regular Copic markers and the regular Spectrum Noir markers. So if the refills are those sizes, right, um, they might fit well in the five by seven paper taker also. Now, um, the six by six is on $10 special today also. It's part of the $10 Tuesday, so don't miss that. I had somebody asking, can you only get one, uh, buy one, get one? For the paper takers, I added four to my card and only one is coming off in, at checkout. Um, I don't know. That is odd. I put six things in my cart and I got half price on the whole order. So um, unless well, some... However, somebody else pointed out. Now on the site, it says buy one, get one price. Oh, darn it. So now they're probably buy one, get one half price. So it says B-O-G-O-H-P now. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's, they got it. They got it changed. Sorry. I was trying to get you guys in right under the wire there. So that is probably why it looks like it's, uh, that's probably why your cart doesn't look like half price. I'm sorry. I know it's trying to sneak you guys in there. I thought they might figure that out and they did. And it's not that they, they, oh, anyway, <laughs> sorry, but $10 Tuesday, still buy one, get one half price, a great time to get your pockets and your and the boxes that you need and save a little bit of money, especially on top of anything in $10 Tuesday that might, that you might need as well. Um, Lou Jean Barber says, please tell us the name and item number of the labels you use from Amazon. They seem to fit your divider pockets perfectly. Uh, I did send Leanne the link to that. So, um, if she hasn't opened that email yet, Leanne, huh, there's an email in your inbox. Um, I just hit send right before we came on. I gave her the link so she could post that link up during the chat today. And I will also try to post a, a link to it again later in the day, but they do work really well. They're, and they're great for, they're great for ink. I also use my regular label maker, just like my brother P touch a lot of times. So if you see things like this that are just really neat and tidy, those are done on the label maker. They're not, um, they are not the Amazon labels that I use for everything else. Just to be clear on that. Let's see. Paulette Hanstein says, hi, Tiffany, are you still developing a frame that will hold the storage and supply cases so they can be stacked vertically and used like drawers? I'm not sure that that's going to make it to the world of totally Tiffany. It is something we worked on and, um, we just couldn't get the price right, but now that I'm thinking about it, so you can stack them, right? You can stack a couple of them up together. I think for those of you who saw my um, post about um, organizing my crazy amounts of washi tape, which Susie told me I needed a therapy group Hi, for. Therapy. Right, that's right. Um, so you can stack up to three of them together. But I'm just thinking right now, and I don't know if it would work. Maybe one of you has these racks. There's a paper storage rack that stores your paper flat. I think it's made by um, We Are. Uh, 
American Crafts. And it's for 12 by 12 paper. So it'd be a little bit too deep, but the length would probably be right if you want a metal frame and shelves that you can stack these on rather than stacking them on top of each other. Why, like obviously it works if you stack them on top of each other. Why would you want that shelving system? <clears throat> Mostly because if you're pulling them off and on, if each one's on an individual shelf, it's easier than having a stack where you might have to unstack the top two to get to the bottom one, right? You'd just be able to pull it straight in and out. And if you kept them closed, then you would also have that handle to use to pull them in and out. So I think I'm going to ask Chastity, my good buddy at American Crafts. Um, hang a second while I write this note. Paper rack. And I think that that's something that they sell at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joanne's, so you could use your 40 off coupon, or Hobby Lobby doesn't do that anymore, I don't think, um, to, to put your, to put these on, since we're not, since we don't have one, right? But that would probably work great. And if it is also American Crafts, if they do make it, it's probably also available at scrapbook.com. All right. Uh, lots of questions over there. Oh, Susie's got lots of questions. Shoot them out, Susie. Give me the next one. It's going by so fast. And they're not popping up on my phone. Is it, uh, no. I'll answer. Is it possible to come out with a 12 by 24 fab file for my math? Uh, I wish it were. I've been pushing for a large fab file for two years. I don't think it's going to happen. It is still on the list um, for mat storage. So there's... Never say never, but it's not something that I'm getting um, very far with. I will put it back on my list here uh, and bring it up again. I think it's a great idea. All right. Deborah Pantner is asking, is there an update on the three-door storage? I wish there was, Deborah. At this point, I don't know what to say. It's a great product. It's developed. It's ready to go. Um, sometimes crafters companion just sits on stuff and waits to release it with HSN. And so that may be part of the strategy on this, but I can't get any further ahead on finding out what's going on with that either. So sorry, okay. wish I had an answer. Uh, are you making a slide stash and store for the kitchen cabinet sides? Yes, slide stash and store 10 inches deep. And this is a great question. I'm going to ask, um, Caitlin to put up an actual poll about it, but you could answer some of it here. Uh, maybe I'll put up just, so they're right now, they're the same width, but they're 10 inches deep, right? So with the 13 inch deep, these guys, the bigger ones sold the best. Well, they all sold well, but when you just look at the numbers, four, five, and six sold more than one, two, and three. Now, some of the reason for that is one, two, and three hold you know, 10 or 12 things and four, five, and six hold two, three, or four things. So you don't need as many, but I'm wondering in the kitchen, in the kitchen cabinet size, which sizes, which thick depths of them do you think you need? So I know a lot of people are excited about them for spices and for spice packets and for all those things that are just kind of shoved in and, you know, mass in those cabinets. So let me know which which ones of those are, why do I want to know this? Because I am trying to put together a bundle of those products in that 10 inch size that is going to be the most useful bundle for you. So with this, with these, we just did one of each. And so it's a bundle of six, one in each size. And then we did a bundle that was three of each, but there was no, I need, you know, five of this size or you know, two of these, two of these, and two of these. So let me know what you think, what you're thinking. They, I got the approved samples, so they're on their way. And I would say we're going to see those roll out depending on the shipping lane late this year or maybe early next year, but they are, they are, they are done deal. I also, my quilting friends, uh, have a, a little slide stash and store thing that I, that's in the works for quilting for fat quarters. So keep your eyes open for that if you are um, a quilter. All right. You ready for another one? Yep. Uh, should all pockets come with labels? Many are coming without lately. Um, I think they, the five by seven pockets 
in some bundles with some products have labels and some don't. And that is something we're working to reconcile that all the five by sevens, and I will bring that up again today. Um, I'll bring that up again. I'll follow up on that. I think that they're already in the process of fixing that though. Um, and then <coughs> all the other ones should have sticker labels. So if you've got pockets that don't have sticker labels, let customer service know, Hey, we didn't get our sticker labels and they will reconcile that, that problem for you. But they should all have them with this weird exception of a few five by sevens, um, that come, there's a variety of packages where they come together and separately and I'm not sure which is which, but some have them and some don't, and we are fixing that. So everything will eventually have them, but any size other than five by seven should always come with the sticker labels. Ready for next one? Yep. Kathy Knight is asking, do you know when the Kristen Buddy Bag will be back in stock? Um, the Kirsten Buddy Bag, I don't know. Did you look on Stephanie Bernard's The Stamps of Life website? and also scrapbook.com. Just because we don't have it in stock doesn't mean that they don't have it in stock because they fill out of the US warehouse and our website fills out of the UK um, warehouse. So please check. I know, if, and if Stephanie has it, she may have it in pink and purple and black, the stampsoflife.com. So if you like a little more color in your craft room, Stephanie has a couple of different bundles of buddy bags that come in colors. So if you go to Stephanie, the stamps of I shouldn't say Stephanie. If you go to the stamps of life.com and click on totally Tiffany organization, there are some bundles in there in colors um, as well as if the Kirsten and Katie buddy bags are available in the U S Stephanie will definitely have those at the stamps of life. I think you kind of answered this with the map question earlier, but uh Rhonda Crowley is asking Cricut sold 12 by 24 paper and now Recollections is selling 12 by 24 paper. How do you store that size paper? Yes. Okay. So 12 by 24 paper. We do not have a 12 by 24 fab file, but I'm putting it back on the list. In the meantime, one of the best ways to store the 12 by 24 paper, if you don't have a big flat area to store it in is to just roll it up and you can even use your, um, these guys, right, that we use, the so the vinyl roll sleeves, you can even use those once you roll up that 12 by 24 paper, and then you can store it in um, your, in either the album fab file or the 12 by 12 fab file, which would be better. The vinyl roll storage, it would work, right? So you could roll it up, like these are all 12 by 24 um, sheets of vinyl rolled up and then held with the vinyl roll sleeve, the only thing with paper is the fade factor. So if you roll it up like this and then you put it into either the 12 by 12 fab file or the album storage, the, um, not the three ring, the strap hinge album storage fab file will, will hold about double what the 12 by 12 fab file will hold. And then it's protected from light and dust and all that stuff. And then when you're ready to use it, you just unroll it and lay it flat and it'll just unroll itself back out. Now you don't want to, you know, you want to roll it smoothly, right? You don't want to crinkle it up, but it does work well rolled up. But I will bring up the 12 by 12 fab or the 12 by 24 fab file again, because I think especially if everyone's selling that paper again, there was a time when they didn't sell. Um, it may be a great option. What else? A lot of questions today. And Natalie M is asking, will you ever bring back the paper cart? I don't know about the paper cart. Again, it's one of those things that we do specifically for HSN. Um, and then when we bring it back for HSN, we bring in enough to have them available on our website as well. It's a great product. I love it. I think I've said before when we've been asked this question, if you look around my room, there are four or five of them visible. It's the perfect way to store your paper. Um, I can only ask, but I, I will, I, but it is not, um, currently a part of the plan, but I, I will definitely ask. Okay. Let me see what I've got over here from, uh, Debbie Hawkshurst says, I need something to store my thread spools. Debbie, do you want it to be 
um, visual. Can you hand me, Susie, that um, six-level stadium arranger that's loaded with thread? Yes. So if you have space on the shelf or on your work table, um, Susie always takes the back way so she doesn't have to get on the camera. And also, Susie, I don't know why she does that, because Susie is a fashion girl, and she always looks so great when she's here. Okay, so this is the six-level stadium arranger. Um, and as you can see, it holds most brands and sizes of thread. One of the great things about this product over the thread holder that has the little spools on it, a little, yeah, yeah, the dowels on it. Or the pokey things is that with those you can't use something like this to hold your bobbin with your thread right because this slides into the hole which means there's no room for the pokey thing to go in it knocks this out so if you only do it that one way you can't move them around right you see you can't move them around so if you want to keep your thread in color order that's the other nice thing about this product is that if you get a new thread in this color group you can easily insert it in to that space also. I push that too far through. Um, so a bunch of different reasons. This is great for thread. If you have space outside, I mean, like on a shelf to keep that, and then it's very, very visual, right? So especially if you've got it in color order, it makes it really simple. If you're looking for something that's more like a buddy bag, um, the six level works, or the six... I thought I had one in here that had thread in it, but maybe I don't. Um, oh, here we go. So the six drawer will hold thread. I've got a kind of a mixed bag in here. I just want to show you the depth of it, though. So with the six drawer, you can double stack your spools of thread in it and still get it into the bag. It's a little bit over the lip, right? When they're kind of like that every other one. Um, but it'll still push into the bag because the vinyl is stretchable. You can also do it just in a single level. And with this size of thread, you can also stand it up. I don't like it standing up because why? It's hard to see the color, okay? So the six level, which I think we're out of stock on. So I apologize for no, I don't like to show you guys things and then say, sorry, you can't buy that now. Um, the six level is good for that. And there was something else in my little pea brain. This guy right here, this is the number one. Um, trying to find a variety of sizes here. This is the number one slide stash in store. So if you organize this by color and label it on the front, right? Pinks and oranges, you know, pink, red, pink, and orange, brown and tan, then you can see all the colors through the side of it. So when you pull it out, it's easy to see that way and it will hold different heights of thread. So that's another option. If you um, saw the picture that we put up, I think last week, I know these are not in order now that I'm putting them back, but if you saw the picture that we put up last week, this filled with thread will sl slide into your Ikea Calyx in the nine, when you put the insert in for wine bottles, so it makes nine cubbies, you can get two of these in each cubby. So if you're using that in your sewing room, that might be a great option as well. Organize them by color, slide them in and out. They're a little bit protected from light and fading and dust and that kind of thing in that cubby. But this, this is the number one slide stash in store. Uh, Pat Ostendorf asks, are there any tab pockets that can be ordered for the Kiwi Lane template storage box? There are not. However, what I did with my Kiwi Lane boxes is I just use the Kiwi Lane pocket so you could, if you just want all singles, right, just the big 12 by six pocket, and then I just added, um, you know, our shut your flap tabs, right? So la label it on both sides, right? So shut your flap tabs. We are out of them at the moment. I believe they have them at scrapbook.com. I did send a link to Leanne. They, Stephanie, the Stamps of Life 
definitely has a bundle right now that's the sm that are the small ones and the large ones. So the nice things, if you're unfamiliar with our Shut Your Flap tabs, why they're better than paper sticky notes is because a paper sticky note, once it gets creased, it will fold over and not pop back up. But the Shut Your Flap tabs, because they're plastic, right, they don't crease. So they just keep popping back up when you, so they're, they stay up better. Now, with the shut your flap tabs, they are a sticky note though. So they're gonna stick on your plastic, but if you take them off and move them around a bunch, then they're gonna pick up dirt and dust, you know, off your fingertips and all that kind of stuff. If they're, if they get not sticky anymore, and this happens to me with my scrap rack a lot because I'm constantly moving them around, you can just add a strip of repositionable adhesive. Like I, as you saw there, I used my label maker. So this is like a nice label you know, easy to read, whatever. So if I move this around a bunch and it wasn't super sticky anymore, I would just take repositionable tape runner adhesive, run a strip on there, and then it's gonna stick again. So shut your flap tabs are an easy way to label your Kiwi Lane pockets. You have something next for me, Suze? Okie dokie. Um, let's see. What is the best way to organize dyes? I have... <coughs> I have split of Crafter's Companion and Diamond Press. Should I do them by theme? I am stuck on how to organize. Thanks. I have a lot of your products to use. If you have lots of dies, lots of stamps, lots of embossing folders, the best way to organize them is to give them a number and create a catalog. Um, and so, so, I don't know, is Barb on today? Maybe Barb could post up a link to cataloging. I think Barb is hosting the 12-week She's calling it the unofficial 12 week get organized challenge. Um, so thank you, Barb, for doing that, first of all. But there is a week that is going to be dies and it'll revolve around doing the catalog. And the catalog kind of sounds overwhelming when you first consider doing it because you have so many dies. The beautiful thing about the catalog is you can work it work through it slowly. I would say the fan favorites, and ladies online, you can crafters online. I'm sure there's some guys out there. You can um, tell me if you think I'm wrong. Fan favorite is the um, Karen buddy bag with the five by seven magnets and the five by seven pockets or the five by seven fab file with those same magnets and pockets. And if you have bigger dies, then it's the Kirsten buddy bag, which has the nine by six pockets and magnets. And those are kind of the best, cataloging them, giving them a number. It makes it easy to find them, easy to put them away. And it helps you cross over categories with dies that have more than one theme or category where they might belong in. So um, the 12-week Get Organized Challenge, I don't know what week we're on, Barb, but I can't remember. Um, but you can find that, the history on that, and that's going to give you like the step-by-step -step of how to actually do that. So great question. We haven't talked about that for a while. All right. Uh, Nora McDonald is having an issue with her hang and pull bar. Everything is leaning downward, even when the baskets are empty. Is there something that I'm doing wrong? Everything is leaning downward, even when the baskets are empty. Um, I don't know. I haven't had that problem. Like I have a hang and hold bar that's been at the end of my desk forever, right? Since we developed it, I use it all the time. And um, now some of the longer ones, maybe if you have the longer one, so the, the big bin has double hooks and triple hooks. So if you hang it, the double hooks, then you've got, you're probably going to get a little bit of a lean on it. I wonder if the bar isn't tight enough on your table um, you could, please send a picture and I will try to diagnose it. If you send a picture to customer service at totally-tiffany.com, it will get to me via Leanne. She may have the answer looking at it also. She's really knowledgeable about product, but if not, she can send it to me and I can take a look and see if I can diagnose that. But it seems like if the bar might not be tight enough, so if the bar's kind of leaning, everything else might be leaning. I hope that helps. <clears throat> I know you guys can't send a picture in the chat, but please feel free, if you're having any kind of product issue or question, please feel free to send a couple of pictures. And again, if Leanne can't answer the question, she'll forward it right on to me. She's great at that. She has more product knowledge sometimes, I think, than I do. So she, it's, it's easy for her to diagnose things. She sees 
you know, she gets these kind of questions all the time as well. So she may be able to help you. And if she can't, she will forward it on to me. So speaking of Leanne, let's see what she's got here. Rhonda Crowley says, oh, so what about storing thread? We got that. Um, Carmen Morales still wagon says, so do you have suggestions for storing jewelry making supplies? I do not <laughs> at this moment, you know, the scrap rack, um, concept works well. We, the, um, embellishment storage page is going to give you 24 pockets on each page. It's a smaller page and it's more heavy duty. So for storing beads and that kind of thing in a little Ziploc bag, that's a great page. The challenge with jewelry making supplies is not that different from um, embellishments for scrapbooking, right? I mean, you can put your beads and your findings and all of those things in a scrap rack page and on a section of your scrap rack and have all of those organized again by color, by metal, by you know silver, gold, brass, copper, whatever it is that you're working with. You can even put your wires in there, especially the wire that comes in the hoop, not on the spool. Um, but the weight of them, you have to always turn from the top, which is what we do with scrapbooking supplies as well. I don't know. It's a challenge. It's something that every time I'm in one of the big craft stores, I walk through the jewelry section and look at all the jewelry making supplies. And I think there has got to be a better way to do this. And I just haven't figured it out yet, but it is something I'm constantly thinking about. Um, so I wish I had a good answer for you, but I do not at this point. Um, Denise Larson asks, which bag is best for stencils? Mine are flimsy. Um, depends on the size of stencil that you have. Most of them are going to be in six by six, 12 by 12. There's a lot of stencils out now that are in the slimline size. All of those pockets are going to hold stencils by size. And you can, I was looking to see if I had, um, stencils in one of these right handy, because one of the things about, um, stencils is, Sorry, while I look and talk at the same time. You can put multiple stencils in a pocket. And, oh, I know where there's some. Susie, on the bottom shelf. Uh, oh, up one shelf, I think. I know it. The addiction continues. Um, slimline storage box. Nope. What's next to that? Keep going to the left. Left. No, left. Like left, 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 right there. Is that, no, one more. Does that have stuff in it or just, yeah. Uh, okay, what about the one? What about the one right next to it? That one is empty pockets. Yes. Is there another box that same size and shape right in there that's going to be loaded up with stuff? Where is it? Okay, we're going to look for it. But... Stencils, you can put multiple stencils in each pocket. And if you put a sheet of paper between them, then you can use your sticky note to label that um, pocket or all the different papers in there. So if you have five stencils in a pocket, that might be it. Woo, winner, yes. Yes, Susie finds it. All right. So this is the nine by six size. This is the very popular right now. Um, stencil storage, I mean, uh, slimline storage, but the stencils, whether they're nine by six or six by six or 12 by 12 or whatever. So you can see in this pocket, I have got four different stencils and I just put each of them in a piece of folded paper and added a shut your flap tab. So they were labeled. Now, why the piece of paper? Because it makes it easy to slide them in and out. The stencils don't get hung up on each other you got that paper to, to make it flat while you're sliding them in and out. So it kind of keeps everything neat and tidy and makes it easy to slide it in and out of the pocket. So you can do this with any size stencil in the pocket. I have four in here. You could easily do five. So depending on the size of stencils, I would go nine by, nine by six. I think this is hard to find right now, but we're getting more um, in stock. Um, so nine by six, six by six or 12 by 12, depending on what, what you have and use the most of is a great solution for stencil storage. Also, they're all going to fit in your scrap rack. 
So if you're using a scrap rack, make a section for stencils. If you don't want to put the stencils by theme, um, then you can put them all in one section. Use the six by six pockets, the 12 by 12 pockets. It's a perfect fit. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Well, oh, Lisa said, will the six by six paper handler? Sorry, Lisa. Uh, I th thought you said it would fit that. Paulette Hanstein. Yes, we answered that. Meg Daisy Ferroli says, what buddy bag would work for the piles of math stacks that I have? Um, what size are they? I'm assuming they're like the five by seven size mat stack. I'm going to send Susie on another mission right now. Susie, <laughs> if you go through that door, there's a sitting on top of one of the paper cart tables. There's a little stack of a little pile of paper, you know, like a book of paper that's five by seven. Yes, ma'am. Did you find? Ta-da! Look at that. Look how fast she is. So if it's five by stack seven, of paper, stack of paper right on top of the tray. I knew exactly where it was. Um, so if you're using something, if you're asking about something like this, this is a standard five by seven size. So it is going to fit in anything that we make that is five by seven. But if you have lots of them and you're wanting to put lots of them together in one place, I am going to say... I'm not sure what the answer is to that. So let's see how many we could get in this size. I probably have a Leanne buddy bag that's empty here, but could you get these two? Oh my gosh, they're just, yeah. They're just a wee bit too long. What else do I have? Something else in here that's five by seven? Is that? Nope, those are small. Too small. It's the only mat stack I have around that's five by seven. So, oh, they might fit. Da -da -da. Look, I'm just, it's such a mess. You guys, every, um, at the end of every Tuesday Live, there's just, <laughs> it's just crazy what I've got in here. So, this is the. Kirsten buddy bag. So you definitely could put them in the Kirsten also. Um, I'm going to say, depending on how thick they are, right? I think this is nine inches. So if they're an inch thick, you're going to get nine. If they're a half inch thick, you're going to get 18. There's probably a variety of them, but Kirsten looks like it's a pretty good fit. There's a little bit of room in there. You might also be able to go vertical. Yeah, you could this way with Kirsten, right? And put them going forward and backward. And then it is, and then if I can do the math and wear my glasses at the same time, if you've got five by seven and you're going this way with them, you're gonna get 12 in there. So um, Kirsten is probably a good fit if you have lots of them. And again, I think we are out of stock on Kirsten, but it's probably available at the Stamps of Life. That is a great question. I know people have tons of these. Now I keep these, you already know, this was right in there with my rainbow paper. So I keep all the sizes of paper together. But if you're trying to put them all in one place, Kirsten looks like she's your girl. Tammy Vincent says, um, oh, I did that, answered that. Um, Doris Kilbane posted a picture and said, I will be buying several more of these. What is a good storage solution for these domed foam cylinders? I don't know the exact size of them based on the photo, but they look like they're probably an inch around, maybe an inch and a half around. So if you want to keep them kind of separate and tidy, so she had them all in these plastic cylinders, um, which probably the reason she doesn't like that is it's a waste of space. The plastic cylinders are expensive, the way you have to open them, all of those things. I think, I don't have any of those, but I think you could, Yes. Uh, Stamp for Life has the uh, Kirsten uh, buddy bag bundle in purple. And that's a Kirsten? Oh, a Kirsten and a Kirsten. One purple Kirsten, two purple 
uh, Karen buddy bags and two five by seven tap divider pockets. Okay, so there is a bundle in purple with two Karens and one Kirsten. Looks like she also has that limited edition, totally Tiffany Kirsten buddy bag pink. The pink, she has Kirsten in pink. Black. Does she have it in black? It doesn't say more on the way on it. There, it's on, it's in stock. Let me uh, add to my cart. See what happens. Susie's adding to her cart. She's a very good shopper. Okay, so these little pockets right here, this is our small die stamp and supply. And she, yes, Kirsten is available on the Stamps of Life website. In black, purple, and pink. It was in a bundle in purple. So, it, <coughs> sorry, whoever was asking me about die organization, if you like purple, that is a great bundle because you're getting the big nine by six the Kirsten, and then you're getting two of the Karen bags, and then you're, and you'll need to get additional pockets and magnets, but you get a good start there, probably at a good price from Stephanie as well, because it's a bundle. So these, <coughs> this small bag is a perfect place to store your little foam. Um, your little foam, guys. And so I pulled it out of the Katya bag, I don't think that's going to be a good place to store because you're going to have wasted space, but I think you can. It's always a learning experience for me here too during Tuesday Live. I'm like, huh, no one's ever asked me that before. I wonder if I could actually do this with that. So this, the Merle or Edna buddy bag, I think because you've got some flexibility with the bags, the pockets, that you could line up all, put each of your little foam domes in a pocket, and then you could line them up inside an Edna or a Merle buddy bag. And I don't know how thick they are either. Without dimensions, it's a little bit tougher, but I think that that would be a good solution. Um, inexpensive, lightweight, and easy to see all of the colors that you have in your little dome, foam dome. Dome. foam domes and that is the small um, it's called die stamp and stencil pocket and that is a small one and again if we don't have them in stock I would check scrapbook.com for that I hope that helps Rebecca Ann Shaw says what pages and how would you store border strips in your scrap rack <clears throat> there is on scrapbook.com a vertical four scrap rack page that has four pockets. Each pocket is three inches wide and 12 inches long. So if you've got the long, the long strips, that's a great pocket for that. To my knowledge, it is only available on scrapbook.com. And again, I sent the link to Leanne so she'll get it posted up in the feed for you. If you can't get it or from scrapbook.com or you don't want to, you can customize your scrap rack pages to be exactly the pocket configurations that you want. So in this situation, I would start with a super size single or um, the horizontal double, the double extra long. There's a, blog, there's a blog post video how to do that using a heat tool, like a fuse heat tool or something like that. And I also gave Lin Lynette, Leanne, the link to that. So you can watch the video and customize those pockets to be exactly the right size and shape for your supplies. If you can go, you know, a six inch wide pocket and then a two, a couple of two inch wide pockets, whatever you want to do. It's very simple, but watch the video because there's a lot of tips and read the blog post. There's a lot of tips in there about how to do it right the first time so that you don't destroy a bunch of scrap rack pages in the process. Um, so hopefully that will help. Okay, let me go back over here. So I think I got all the questions. Okay, uh, Rhonda Crowley said, I was talking about the cones of thread, like the ones for embroidery machines, not the regular thread type, oh, type threads. Okay, Rhonda, uh, I think they fit in the Leanne buddy bag. I don't have any of those handy. Um, I think they're gonna fit in the Leanne buddy bag and they may fit similarly in the four level stadium ranger instead of the six because it's got wider levels on it. So if you can tell me how, at the widest point, how wide are those cones, I would be able to tell you if they will fit in the four level. But I know they're also a bit taller. So um, I think the Leanne buddy bag would hold them. And, and I think the four level would hold them, but I just need to know the height. 
and the width on them, and then I can tell you that. So if you have a chance. Jessica Brumley says, she's been asking this question, but haven't heard the answer yet. What is the best storage for finished 12 by 12 three wing binder books? I like them on my shelves, but like would like them protected from dust and such. The 12, uh, the three ring, we're all, so this is the fab file that holds three ring binders. Um, the exact dimensions for every three ring binder that I've had, this has worked fine. They're almost all the same um, width here and the length, but there are a couple of sizes apparently that don't fit. So if you can measure yours and then check the dimensions, this is in the fab file family. It is called the album storage, the three ring album storage fab file, but it does give you a label pocket on the end and this nice handle. So it does protect them from light and dust, or if you have a few little bits and pieces of memorabilia that you wanna have stored right with your, um, your album, you can pop it in there as well. So you just need to check the measurements, but those have fit every three ring that I have tried. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys. So one thing that I regularly get asked is, do I actually craft? And if I do, <laughs> yes, she does. Yes, I do. Susie can test it, oh, testify. Washi tape. That's right. Craft. I've got to use all that washi tape. Okay, let me move some of this out of the way really quickly here. Um, and some of you may have seen the video that I put up on this. I don't know if you follow me on my other channel, the Life in the Wick channel. I did put up a little video about this little um, journal that I made, but. We'll talk crafting now. Oh, here comes Susie sneaking around the back again. Thank you. So this is my latest craft project. So if you have not tried the cinch machine from We Are, it is super fun to use. And I made this tiny little wire um, bound journal that I'm using to track my progress with rule number two, which is what I'm talking about on Life in the Wick this week um, to track my progress with that those goals. Why is this possibly of more interest to you? Look, I have all my bits and pieces for it right here in my, um, what is that called? Craft and Carry Workstation. I used a bunch of my old Project Life cards, which, you know, if you bought Project Life, it came, I mean, each kit came with like 300 cards or whatever. So there's tons of cards around. Um, I used these, I just added them in here. So like this little front one is one of the four by six cards that had the score line. And then flip back and find a couple more. So this is also one of those that I just punched on the seam so it opened up. But even the bigger ones, the four by sixes, make nice dividers. So it's a great way, if you're thinking about making mini albums for Christmas or gift albums or whatever, it was so fun to do this. And it was a great way to use up some Project Life stuff that I had. Now, one of the things you know if you're a Project Life user is that Project Life sometimes goes vertical on one side and horizontal on the other. I'm trying to find one that has words. So um, what I did with those, these are all the same, of course. What I did with those in order to go, so like this. It says you and me on this side, horizontal. And then this side is lines that go vertical. So I just glued two of them together like this. So I could have, I guess, vertical on both sides. So I glued them together and then punched them. And then I was able to add it to the book. So, um, so I made this for the Life in the Wick blog that... Um, post that I'm doing, but I wanted to share with you how much fun it was to use up my Project Life cards making that cute album. So if you're thinking about doing small albums, like I said, for gifts for Christmas or journals or whatever, and you have those old Project Life things, get out your cinch machine and make a way because the, the stock, the 
uh, paper weight on those is perfect for that kind of project. Okay, so that's my little craftiness for the week. All right, I saw a bunch of things popping up here. Do you have something else, Susie, before I uh, let's see. get back to Leanne here? Uh, so the cones are four and a half inches tall or, or six and a half, six and a quarter inches tall cones of thread. Um, so they will probably definitely fit in the Leanne bag, the shorter ones, both of them will fit in the Kirsten bag. And if you give me the dimensions, the how around, sorry, um, I will be able to tell you if they will fit in the four level stadium arranger also. So height wise, that six and a quarter is going to be probably the only bag that fits going to fit that is going to be the Kirsten bag. Um, but they may, the, the shorter ones will probably fit in the Leanne bag. And if you tell me how big around they are, I will tell you approximately how many I think you can get in those bags. I don't bags. think you answered this under can you show me the two drawer store and go? I need to organize ribbon. I can't leave this head in a bag. The two drawer store and go. The two drawer storage and supply case, maybe, I think, is what you're referring to. I don't think that's a good fit for ribbon because it's not deep enough. Unless you have the slightly smaller size ribbon. I know Stephanie Bernard, Stamps of Life, has a smaller ribbon, but this storage and supply case is not going to, the two drawer storage and supply case is not deep enough for that ribbon, for the regular three inch ribbon. So if you have the smaller ones, I need to label these with not what's in them, but what drawer sizes they are. So this is the two drawer right here, but you can see it's only an inch deep. So you can get about an inch and a quarter and most ribbon, the most common size of ribbon is three inches around. Unless you have the tiny little ribbons and then those would fit in there or they would also fit really well then in the six drawer as well. <coughs> um, also though, uh, well, we're working, I'm working on a design for the slide stash and store that is going to hold ribbon as well, but it'll be open as opposed to in a, in a bag. However, ribbon is a problem. So I'm going to make a note here. Larger um, SASC storage and supply case that would hold a ribbon the same way I'm on it. I will add that to my list because I think, so lots of you know from hanging out with me on Tuesdays that we do have a 12 by 12 version of the storage and supply case coming. It is not going to be deep enough for ribbon either. However, I think it would be pretty simple to design one that was three inches deep and you would be able to store dozens of rolls of ribbon in there. Um, just depending on how thick the ribbon was, but most of us have mostly like half inch ribbon or smaller. Caroline Hanley has a question for you. What is it? I'm going through organizing my stamps and dies. I'm storing in fab files for now as I don't have room for a scrap rack, but hope I will uh, be able to have one one day. Anyway, is it okay for me to throw away packaging as long as I make a note of where it came from and put a photo from the packaging in the pocket as I believe throwing the packaging away will allow me to get more in the fab files. Yes. Caroline is asking, should she throw the packaging away that came with her dies and stamps? And I would say, yes. You know, um, I usually, if there's an image on the package that shows a, the complete project, I will cut that out. If she's asking, should she do that? I will cut that out and put it in the pocket. Or if there's weird instructions, something different than you would normally do on the packaging, I would cut that out and put that in the pocket as well to make those pockets as small as possible. So absolutely, Carol Ann, thanks for asking that. Saving the packaging. And if you are someone who submits your designs for things and you have to say, this is a crafter's companion stamp, or this is you know a stamps of life stamp or die, and you need to be able to mention those, then you need to keep that in there as well. Like the part of the packaging that says who made it or just write on the, um, on the acetate, on the stamp or on the, 
uh, magnetic sheet, the brand. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you write on your magnetic sheets um, or your acetate with a Sharpie with a permanent marker, you can wipe it off. It lasts for a long time, but you can wipe it off with uh, rubbing alcohol. So if you decide you're going to change up what's in that pocket or on that magnet, it's easy to change that, but it will allow you to write down what they are. So either keep a piece of the packaging that if it's important to you, if the brand isn't important to you, if it's just for you, you're doing it for yourself. You're never going to have to tell anybody or submit a project and say which things you used in that project, then there's no reason to keep anything extra. But I do like to keep a picture of the finished project, especially when the dies are weird, like some of the like border dies and stuff, you don't really know what you're looking at if you don't have a picture of what it looks like finished. So I think that's a great idea. All right, let's see. I got a couple stacked up over here. Um, Barbara Sibley says, what is the name of the tall bag behind you next to the stamp bag? The tall bag behind me next to this. Oh, maybe this one. Is it this one? This is Leanne. She's just standing on her end. So this is all the, um, uh, what are they called? Glitter flakes or um, gilding flakes in the big container. The smaller container fits in the Edna. But if that's the one you're talking about, that is it. That is Leanne, the tall one. She is the tall one. Rhonda says, oh, cone thread is two and a half inches wide. Smaller ones are three inches high by one and three quarters. So the one and three quarters is going to fit in the four level stadium arranger. Um, the two and a half inch wide is not Rhonda. Uh, six and a quarter high, though, that is going to fit in the Kirsten buddy bag. So thank you for measuring all that and, and letting us know because there's other people with the same question, I'm sure. Um, Carrie Drought says, is it possible to get a taller version of Denise? I'm trying to organize my taller embellishments from TSOL and I like the separate bins in Denise, but the packages are too tall. And obviously Denise is not wide enough to rotate the packaging. Um, let me see, let me write that down. Larger Denise. I don't know how big those are, but you might try also um, the Katie, because Katie is much taller, right? So. You've got that, I think it's nine inches of height with Katie. So depending on how tall those are and how many you have, so she about eight and a half inches you've got with the, with the Katie Buddy Bag. And there, and there are two types of pockets that fit in the Katie Buddy Bag if you need pockets for stuff. There are the open top pockets and then there are the pockets that have the flap that closes over. So Katie may be a great choice for organizing those embellishments. Also, I'm wondering if Sue wouldn't work, if you could give me the dimensions for the embellishments, if you have any handy. Um, Sue is a little, well, mm, I don't know. With Sue, you could rotate them sideways, right? The other option might be, oh, again, without dimensions, it's hard to know. Um, the other option might be the um, Kiwi Lane storage box and pockets, if you, if you even need the pockets. Or possibly, this is 9 by 6 You can buy the Slimline storage box on its own. So if you give me the dimensions of those embellishments that you're trying to store, I'm just trying to think if I actually have some in my, my Stamps of Life stash. Let's see. One of, the, one of these has lots of things in it. Nope, it's not that one. So I've got this. That's a die. And these are the... So if, e if either of these things look like the size that you're trying to store, like I've got three sizes. Um, those would all go this way in the Sioux bag and then you could use like a sticky note or a shut your flap tab to label them also. So that might work. I think those are the different sizes of things that I've got in my little kit here. 
but give me some dimensions and I will do a better job answering that question for you. Ready for another one? Yep. All right, Susan Knight. Maggie wants to know where is the best place to store alphabet stickers like thickers? Thickers? Um, if you're using a scrap rack, they're going to fit in the double extra long pages, either vertical or horizontal. If you're not using a scrap rack, this box, this is the Kiwi Lane box, and it is a great place, as you can see for your thickers. Now, once you open them, so those are all still in the packaging. Once you open them, you will want to get some of the, po the 12 by six pockets because you know, once you open the package, they hang up, they get hung up on each other because they're dimensional. So then you can slide them into the pocket and keep everything nice and neat and tidy. But as you can see, I've just stored these that are not open yet. Just I've put a label tab on them and then I just put them into the Kiwi Lane storage box. So if you search Kiwi Lane on the website, it'll pull up. There's, I think there's six different items in this group. It'll pull, you can buy the box and the pocket separately and you get exactly what you need. But it's a great way to store your thickers if you're not putting them in your scrap rack. Also, of course, um, any of the, probably number three, I guess, in the slide stash and store is a great option for thickers as well. If you want them to be open, same thing. You can put them in there and then put your label tab on them so you know which thing is which or which color group or whatever. But either one of those is a good solution for thickers. Okay. Let's see. What did I miss here? Um, dun, dun, dun. We talked about stencil. I think we got it all. What body bag works for talked about mad sacks. Okay. I think we've got now, if you haven't already commented, please do so because Leanne is going to choose a winner and she chooses a winner based on throwing everybody's name in a hat that has commented throughout the thread today. So if you haven't had a comment, I'm sorry. I try to say that right in the beginning. If you haven't made a comment, you can't win. So be sure and do that. My watch is beeping at me that I need to go for a walk. Um, okay. I should Get just, that's right, here we are. Okay, I think that's it. I think we got everything. So sorry that the buy one, get one half price paper handler deal turned into what it was really supposed to be. <laughs> buy one, uh, the buy one, get one free turned into what it was really supposed to be. Buy one, get one half off. But remember, it's also $10 Tuesday. So it's a great time to combine those two deals so that you can save on shipping and get everything in one bundle. So $10 Tuesday today, the Lisa Buddy Bag, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with Lisa, she is the 12 by 12, one inch buddy bag. And she does work with the pockets or the tabbed dividers as well. So the, um, the pack of 10 tabbed paper storage box dividers fit in the Lisa bag. So that is who Lisa is. Uh, also the A26, sorry, which is the paper storage boxes, the cardboard one. So if you are permanently storing your paper somewhere and you're not moving it around so that you, uh, the paper, you don't need the paper handler or you don't need the, the buddy bag or the 12 by 12 paper taker. Those paper storage boxes are a good craft room basic. I use them um, when I'm doing paper sorting as well as I'm cleaning up paper. It works great for that. The six by six paper taker is also available for $10. This one, right? So it fits paper, but it also fits your tri-blend markers, your, whether they're aqua or regular tri-blend, they're going to fit in the 6x6 six six paper taker. And then, of course, the large store and clip pod. And that is the one that holds 12x12 12 12 paper and can be divided to hold 85 by 11 as well. So all of those items are on special today only, Tuesday, $10 Tuesday. And then, of course, the buy one, get one half price paper handlers and paper handler pockets. A good time to stack, stock up on that. All right. Any last minute questions, Suze? Thank you, Erica. All right. I have lots of notes and follow-up this week, ladies. Ooh. Crafters. Okay. So, drum roll. This week's winner. Yay! Rhonda Crowley. Congratulations. Ah. Woo woo. Um, Rhonda, you have won a $25 totally Tiffany gift certificate. And that, I'm assuming that you're already a member of Club Inspire. But if you're not, join Club Inspire and then send an email that says, Hi, I won the totally Tiffany $25 giveaway today and they will add that to your account and you can shop away. So, um, 
Thanks everybody for joining me. I know we're a little bit over today. Lots of great questions. Thanks so much for asking those. You know, if you have a question, somebody else has the same question. So we really appreciate it that you take the time to join us and ask those questions. I'll follow up on these things that you asked about today that I was unable to answer and get back to you next week with the best answers that I can. So thanks so much for tuning in. I will see all of you next Tuesday.